Hello chess students, today we are going to discuss a queen exchange in chess. What you see in front of you is a position where white has offered a queen exchange to black with their last move queen to a4. I would like you to pause the video and take a minute to decide what would be the sequence of moves you would play in this position for the black pieces. All right. So in general, there are few common reasons to exchange the queens. Number one is when your king is getting attacked. Number two is when you have a very good endgame after the exchange of the queens. And number three perhaps is when you're ahead in material and want to simplify the position. In this position, black has much higher chances for a kingside attack simply because they have more pieces looking at that part of the board. If it wasn't for the queens currently challenging each other, black has ideas like bishop to d6, which creates a battery, we're threatening queen h2, with close to mating white's king. On the other hand, white has better endgame chances because of what we call outside pawn majority. This promises white a better chances for a pass pawn in general and what we would call outside pass pawn. It's just the way it is that it's easier to push two against one to create a pass pawn than pushing four against three on the king side for black to create a pass pawn in the end game. However, if black had a tactic right now, even though based on the strategic considerations, we kind of understand black does not want to exchange the queens, black would happily exchange the queens if that led to material gains. Like if we win a pawn or we win a knight or a bishop, endgame would be winning for us and this pawn majority would be a minutiae compared to black's material gains. First, let's observe what happened in the game before we observe a better continuation for black. In the game, black played queen takes a4. Now, if white was just to take the queen back, black would be winning material. However, they have this in-between move, rook takes d8 with the check. Black takes back, knight takes on a4. Black gave a check on d1. King moved back to h2, and white had absolutely no problems in this endgame. Like, there is nothing that black could hope to play for a win over here unless white simply blunders. Yes, black probably is not risking anything as well. However, I would slightly still prefer white myself because of what I discussed as being outside pawn majority. So, this was a wrong decision in the game for black to exchange the queens. And now we can observe a better variation for black. First of all, we can take on d1, which would deflect the white's queen. They cannot take with the knight because their queen would lose protection. So we would see queen takes d1. And here it seems at first enticing to play bishop d6. We're threatening this check, but white could play g3, which would deflect the queen. And after we win this bishop, they take that bishop on d6, and white is somewhat fine. So a better move, if black keeps their composure, would be to play bishop to b6. Now we're threatening rook to d8 to cover the open file, and after bishop to c7, we will, we will be creating this battery with threats of queen h2, and now white is on the ropes. They could still, of course, fight, and the position is not objectively winning, but it's very, very dangerous for white, and I think black would have had much better position than in that equal endgame. If you enjoyed the class, consider hiring me as your online personal coach. That's my full-time job for many years. My contacts are on the right. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.